Welcome to my easy statistics. In this session, we will be discussing about man Whitney U test in SPSS. Man Whitney U test is also called as Man Whitney Will Coxon test. It is also called as Will Coxon Ransom test or it is also called as Will Coxon Man Whitney test. Man Whitney U test is used to compare the sum of ranks of two independent groups. I'll explain this with the help of an example. In SPSS, I have created a data of two variables. One variable I have salespersons, the other variable is sales. In salespersons, I have two salespersons who are numbered as first salesperson as one, second salesperson as two. And this first salesperson's corresponding sales are recorded here and the second person's sales are recorded here. Right. So it is used to compare the sum of ranks of two independent groups. These two salespersons sales can be compared. This is what we are going to do with Man Whitney U test. So in this Man Whitney U test, we have some assumptions. All the observations from both groups are independent of each other. That is, if I am taking salesperson one is independent to salesperson two. This is the first assumption. Second one is the responses are ordinal or interval data, but the interval data may not be normally distributed. The data which I am collecting respondent data sales, this is interval data, not ordinal data, but this interval data is not normally distributed. So under these two conditions, we use Man Whitney U test. The first condition is the two groups are independent of each other. Second condition is the respondents, what we are taking responses are interval but not normally distributed. So what I am going to do with this man Whitney U test is, I am going to have a null hypothesis. There is no difference between the performance of salesperson 1 and salesperson 2. This is my null hypothesis. I am going to see whether I am going to accept this or reject this null hypothesis using Man Whitney U test. Right, this is salesperson <coughs> data and this is their sales performance data. I am starting performing the analysis in SPSS. I am going for analysis in this non parametric test. In non parametric test, I am going for legacy dialog. In this, I am using two independent samples. In this, <coughs> salespersons are performance need to be compared. So I take salespersons into group variables, sales into testing variables. And salesperson, there are two groups, first group and second group. Continue. Here, the type of test I am using is Man Whitney U test. Right. After making these two settings, sales and sales performance, I have defined a group as one and two, and I have checked man white new test say okay <coughs> right this is my output window the first table pivot table is showing the sales of two persons sales persons one and two the sales of first person the sum of the sales is 143 second sales person 
sales is 47 so we can easily understand there is a difference between salesperson 1 to salesperson 2 the question is is it significant or not significant right you can see the test statistics directly I'm going for the analysis of significance <coughs> The significance is 0, 0.00. The significant I got in this man whitney U test is 0, 0.00. So what I'm going to have my conclusion is if the significant value is less than 0, 0.05, then reject the null hypothesis. My significance in this case is 0, 0.00, which is less than 0, 0.05. So I am going to reject Manal hypothesis. What is Manal hypothesis? This is Manal hypothesis. There is no difference between the performance of salesperson 1 and salesperson 2. So I am rejecting it in the sense there is a difference between salesperson 1 and salesperson 2. Yeah, this is what significance is 0, 0.00 which is less than 0, 0.05 there is a significant difference what I am saying and the null hypothesis rejected so I conclude that there is a significant difference between performance of first salesperson to performance of second salesperson thank you